this really just played me right now. I think it's Hey guys, it's Bonds. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I just felt like sitting down and playing around with my makeup. I was on Instagram and I've been trying to think of a new color to do as far as shadow goes. And I came across green, which if you did not know was my favorite color, but you probably wouldn't know because I almost never wear color. <laughs> But I love green, so I did that today. I used the I used the Morphe palette primarily. This is the 18B Make and Bang palette. I really like it because it has all my favorite colors. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Uh, my camera cut off, and I just had to wait for it to recharge. So <laughs> shambles as always. But yeah, let's get into the video feel like filming today and I want to do color and all of that foundation is already on Ooh, now we only have two bars let's just do it okay I was looking at my makeup and I was like damn like what sort of look do I want to do I'm doing green so green also thank you Karina for letting me borrow your dress let's hope I like how I look in it and let's just like go for it my foundation is already on but the details for that will be down below I wanted to have a cool way of spinning my videos like this, but I don't know how to do that, so we're just going to go for it. This is the first palette I'm going to use. It's from Profusion. It's their neon palette. I just want a light green. Yeah. Oh, whoa. I did not bake. I did not bake. Okay. Okay, here we go. neon green on and then I also grabbed this Morphe palette I have a lot of Morphe stuff well not do I I mean mainly collabs but this one's all green like okay it looks a little too neutral it's like all green and green's my favorite color you wouldn't be able to tell but I do actually like color well now you can tell who am I red nails bitch I'm just going there I didn't really decide like how exactly I want to do my makeup I just knew that I wanted to do color so I knew I wanted to do green should have I should have on my eyebrows okay this one I always been lower I didn't mention it this is a making bank 18b I'm pretty sure Morphe palette pretty sure Okay, so now that we have that like olive color in, I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, I will blend that out a little bit more, but I want to add a deeper color into the crease. I'm going to try something that may or may not work. I'm going to take this super vibrant color. There you go. I'm going to try to put that in, and if not, then I'm just going to take the deeper version of that also in this palette. And apply that but I feel like that would look kind of cool that's look kind of cool <gasps> but I still want this in my crease but I realized I want this on my lid so Then I'm gonna still take that darker color in the palette and I'm gonna try where is my super shiny blending brush? Your own brush color. Okay, this isn't the one I wanted. The one I wanted was more expensive, so I'm kind of stressed that I can't find it. But that's okay. And then I'm going to go into that first neon shade and just start to like buff some of the stuff out up by the brow. I like how I brought out the shade on the other eye so I'm just gonna kind of make sure I'm baking here to help me with cleaning up the shape 
because I like that shape. And sometimes that happens. That's cool. Okay. Then I'm going to take that second blending brush I did, a little bit more of the olive, and I just kind of work backwards into blending these shades together. You will lose some pigment, but it's fine. You just pack it back on. And I'd rather colors look a little muted than totally muddy, which I don't know. But I've also been trying to play around with doing my makeup a little bit, just more like fun and free. Got that all the way out, and I love that. I heard a big truck stop, and I'm definitely waiting on an Amazon package. So. That'll be fun. Okay, so right now I'm just adding that vibrant lid color back on top, just so it can come back. I love it; it's so pretty. Okay. And I'm going to go back to that last super tiny blending brush and that deeper, it's like a navy green blue. It's really pretty. And just with that, got it on there. Drag it out as well. And then I'm going to kind of bring that in to kind of define the crease just on the outer corner, so the outer crease. I kind of like the bright color on most of the lids so I want to leave it like that. And I'll take a little bit more of that lighter color, brighter color, and just pack it on, blend them together. Okay. I really like this. I'm going to put on a nude on my waterline and try to use that light color on top of it to make like my own liner. Now I'm not trying to tear. Okay. Then let's use that dark color right underneath it. I'm gonna take a tiny smudger brush. This is exactly why I bake. Cause the fallout. Maybe successive. Ooh, I, I'm starting to like this. I'm going to take another tiny brush and we're just going to highlight the inner corner. I'm leaning. There's like this really pretty duochrome color. And I know I've done that before, but I just, I love that color so much. So I'm going to use it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> And then I'll just take a little bit of what's left. It's so pretty in dual crown, so it's going to go under the arch of my brow. And a clean brush to blend that out. Cool. Let's do mascara. I thought I was going to film this so quick. I was a dupe. Okay. Cool. Let me dust away this bake. She's excessive. Um, as is this fallout. I prefer to like push in the bake, but not one that has fallout on it, girl. Okay. Okay. For blush, I'm thinking. Actually, you know what? Let me check a lash. That's like the worst to think you're set to go. And oh shit. You don't even have a lash brush. How are you gonna finish up the look, baby girl? How? Okay. Oh, you guys. Smith and Colt reposted me. Oh, and then they followed me. <sighs> good signs, good times, good signs and times. Alright, blush. So I'm thinking more of like a peachy pink blush. So I have my Juvia's Place Sahara in Volume 2 palette because there's this one color in here called towel that I'm obsessed with so we're gonna do towel and I'm gonna use like an angled I definitely tapped into the wrong one towel and Lena cuz I tapped into the wrong one y'all notice I'm always a mess
minutes. I haven't used an angled brush like this for blush in a minute, but I kind of like that I can like sweep it outward more easily. And I like put it on my nose. And then I take that and blend it out. And there's no extra product on this brush, but I will just go over bronzer. And then for my lips, I think you knew I was going to do a nude. I think you already knew that. I'm pretty sure. So. Two things just happened. I'm doing my lip. I ran out of storage. I deleted stuff and I was filming another video. <sighs> and I just deleted everything from the other clip. There were, I mean, for that other video, there were so many clips there. I'm gonna need Morphe to see this shit now. <laughs> oh, and my camera's trying to die. Let's just keep going. Okay. Oh, but she just transformed. What do we think? Do we like it? I like it. This is fun. Um, unfortunately, I didn't highlight my face. I'm really just taking my sweet ass time while my camera battery is blinking that it's dead. This is Hustler Baby from Fenty. Baby. Okay, now we're done. This look, my defender. I'm here for it. It's fun, it's different, it's really out there. I haven't done a smoky eye in so long and I love being, I'm gonna play around doing more like dramatic, kind of going past my brow, but my camera's telling me that it's dying. So that's basically it for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed just playing around with me. Please give me ideas because I don't know what else to film and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.